Thanks for my, so much for checking out the replay. Wing. This is the replay. Thanks so much for checking it out. Make sure that you click for hearts because even though you're watching the replay, you can still tap and get some hearts. As well as if you want to share this, if you are using an iOS iPhone, you want to swipe left to right and click share and let people know about this. But also if you're using an Android, swipe up and that is going to be allowing you to share this. I'm glad you guys are jumping on. Make sure again that you let me know if this is a good topic and the best way to do that is by tapping the screen. Tapping the screen either by watching it in replay or live actually gives those hearts and it lets the user of Periscope who's broadcasting and teaching as much as they're teaching know that these are great topics. Glad to see you guys jumping on. Thanks so much for jumping on from New Jersey. I love that you're telling me where you're from. I have my sister, she lives over in New Jersey. She lives up in Mountain Lakes. And I've got some three great hacks that I've learned uh, just in a couple days. And one of them is a big one. And I had to research to really figure this out and try and true to get it to work. So I'm going to save that one, of course, for last. The third one is going to be a good one. Oh, from Cape Cod. We got a lot from all over. Let me know where you're from. So why don't you put your name in there and say hi, of course. And then put where you're from. What state are you from? If you want to tell me what city you're from, go for it. I'm originally from upstate New York myself, but I live outside of Dallas, Texas now. We moved down here about four years ago, so I love seeing, oh, Colleen, Texas. Nice. We got some others. Canadian, BC, over on the other side. I used to spend a lot of time over in Ontario, and I kind of adopted a Canadian accent a little bit, so you might hear that. I've got a mutt accent. I've got uh, some great information for you guys. Of course, I keep studying as much as I can about Periscope, following the creators of Periscope, of course, as well as the wizards of Periscope. Great seeing you, Jacqueline, from California. Awesome to have you here. Cool. Reagan is over in Fort Bragg. Glad seeing so many of you guys are here. And it is a reminder to let the broadcasters know that these topics are what you want to hear. Make sure you tap the screen multiple times. Don't be stingy by tapping just one because that's just pitiful to say, here's one heart for you. That's just pitiful. Don't do that to the users. They're giving a lot of their time to share their knowledge for free. So I think this has been a fantastic platform to be able to help people be able to grow their businesses, but also to give a lot of advice and tips, everything that swirls in my mind. And I just think, you know what? This is awesome. I can do my live TV show and just pass this information on and, and hopefully it helps your business. So I am going to be talking about some hacks that I've learned with Periscope. And you may know some of them already, but there's one that was a pain in my butt that I didn't know happened and um, I'll share with you exactly how I've been able to fix it as well and be able to figure it out. So I'm glad uh, we can't see your head. Why can't you see my head? I think you see my head. Is that is that a real thing? Can you guys see my head? Or is that just someone who's like looking at their phone like this? Okay, thank you. I thought you could. I mean, Maybe I can bring my flowers into view more. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. My name is Christine Dwyer, and I help people build predominantly health and fitness businesses online, building a culture, building their brands, and also building leadership within their organizations. I've been able to excel by helping entrepreneurs as independent consultants doing this for 15 plus years. My background is in fitness. So I've been a group fitness instructor for 24 years, working professionally in fitness for fitness celebrity for 15 years in total, but also my background is actually x-ray. I went to college and I have an associate's degree for radiography and mammography, and I can do barium enemas if anybody wants me to. I actually had to do it once on a high school friend. It was horrible. Yeah, I was working back in the GIGU unit and in on walks one of my closest friends from high school. And I was like, oh no, I had to do that. That was the worst. But um, I moved on to working in sales and applications for digital x-ray equipment. And uh, basically, I just become obsessed with trying to learn to become a better leader, to become a better communicator, to become a better public speaker, to become a better culture creator. I just want to be better in everything as well as social media marketing. And that's why I'm loving Periscope because it's so brand new, just trying to sink your teeth in to figure out as much as you can about this. Now, of course, if you are trying to learn more about Periscope and to become better with it, I'm going to give you a tip. I actually ran a podcast and it launched today. So today is Thursday, August 
13th. I forget what day it is. I don't know if you're an entrepreneur like me that forgets what month it is. I don't even remember the months anymore, especially for moving from New York to Texas. I don't keep track of the months. It's really hard um, for me to do that. But Periscope has been brand new and I launched a podcast about it today, giving a lot of tips about it. Some of the how to's, of course, of how to use it and some ideas of how you can use it to the best as well. So my podcast, make sure that you go download the podcast app and you can search my podcast. It's the platinum edge. So if you just look for the podcast, the platinum edge, you are going to find me and I teach a lot on there. I taught this morning on Periscope how to involve your spouse in your home business. And in my podcast, I really dive deeper into it and give you exactly five starting tips that will make your life so much easier to involve your spouse or your partner with your home business. But I want to go through some hacks tonight. Why don't you, before I go through, write in comments and let me know what are some of the the problems or the things that you wish Periscope will come out with, because I want to see if any of it is going to be relative to these hacks. Like, what do you, what do you wish happens? Like, for instance, I know one of mine is I hate getting stuck, not being able to comment. Oh my gosh. I love being able to go in and then being able to speak to the people. Like you guys are able to comment here. I mean, we've only, we're not at 150 max yet on commentors. So, uh, a lot of you guys are not locked out, but once it's over 150 comment or people in the house, then you get locked out of being able to comment. So of course, that's going to be one of the hacks that I teach you. Would like to find people in search. That's a great one. And I think that they really are working on that. I know that that is a important one. Thanks for reiterating my podcast. Again, the podcast is The Platinum Edge. Easiest way to find people to follow. I'll give you a tip on that one. I'm going to write that one down. Find people to follow. Dislike the lockouts. Yeah, rewind, fast forward, definitely. That one I don't have a hack for yet. Oh, yeah, I kind of do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm actually adding to my hacks. <laughs> I only... um had three, but now I've got five for you guys. Okay. Wish the names were more visible in the comments. Oh yeah, I know. I think I heard Kayvon Bicor, Bic, Bicor, Bicpour, I don't know how to say his name exactly, said that they're going to be darkening that or doing something with the name so that it is easier. How do you carry your brand into love casting? I feel like I get notifications way after the broadcast has already started. Hell, that's it. If you guys know, someone needs to know this quickly before I start doing this. Hit, if you are an iPhone user, swipe your finger left to right and click share and share this so people can jump on and be able to see this live and also ask their questions because we still have room in the house for people to be able to comment. And if you are an Android user, go up, swipe up and also um, tell share it. So click share and let people know about this so that I can help you guys with some of those hacks. Those are some of the great things. I know a lot, a lot of them are mine too. I wish I could search on topics. That's the number one one that I wish I could have. And the second one that I wish you could have in Periscope is the rewind or fast forward feature. But this is live. So that's going to be weird. I don't really know how that's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to do that for live broadcasting or um, only in the replays. So I'm not sure. But those of you who are watching the replay, that uh, this is a great option, of course, for you to be able to go back and play again, right? You can always go back and play again. That's the great part. So I'm gonna share with you three firm hacks. I'm, I'm writing my notes. And also I just added two more. So I've got five hacks for you guys just by what you just told me here. So I'm glad that you posted it. Let's start with the first one. Again, you may know some of these, but I'm going to save my best one for last because I worked hard to try to find this one. So I'm going to save the best one for last. So my third one I was going to offer for you guys is going to move to number five. So just for those of you jumping on, thanks so much for jumping on and sharing this. My name is Christine Dwyer and I help people build health and fitness businesses online and building leadership and culture and really developing their brand, adding value, but also just really building um, millions in your own entrepreneur business. And I can say that just as strongly as Austin Powers because I have many millionaires who have worked with me, including myself, of course, and my husband. He's a millionaire too. We can say that too. All right, so let's get going. The first hack, let's talk about that one where you get locked out of commenting. So Periscope does limit the room to 150 people who can comment when a broadcast starts. So my word of advice is when you do get a notification, I would definitely um, 
put the notifications on on your phone. And yes, I know the notification comes like this because so many people are addicted to running these broadcasts. I kind of don't mind it. Initially, I was like, oh my gosh, everyone's just obsessed with thinking about, I got to get back on. I got to get back on. And I kind of am too, because obviously this is two in one day. But um, here's the thing. Put the notifications on, especially if you really want to learn from the top people that you are following. And if you can't jump on, then just dismiss it. Who cares? But if it comes on, quickly join as quick as you can. So that may allow you to get one of the first seats in the house of 150. Now, here's the hack. And this you may already know. But the hack is that a lot of times people will jump in on a broadcast and they've probably got like three seconds before they're going to decide if they're going to stay with that person or not. It's the three second rule. Three seconds, you make your decision up on if you like someone or not. Did you know that that takes you three seconds and you look someone up and down and you already have a judgment about them if you're going to like them or not before they've even said anything? That's just human nature. So that's actually what's happening. So a lot of people are jumping into people's broadcasts, filling up a spot. Here's the thing. When someone leaves, that doesn't mean that the person, that someone who was the 151st person just takes up that spot. No, it's like, um, you know, you're sitting in an auditorium and everybody's got their seat. Like you sold 150 seats in an auditorium and someone goes, and leaves. Their car's getting towed and they have to leave. Their spot is there. We, sitting in the auditorium, don't shuffle our seats to fill up that spot. No, what happens is there's an open seat. So anybody new who comes in can get front row. That's usually how it works, right? Someone new comes in and gets that front seat. That's exactly how this is set up to work. So the first 150 people fill the auditorium seats. But if any of those 150 people leave you don't automatically move up into it. What you want to do is become a new person back in the room. So you actually exit out and go back in. So if you're ever locked out, the hack is to exit out and go back in. Exit out and go back in. And I've heard people say, try to do it up around 20 times because for the most part, I've been watching people's feeds. They say that around seven and under times of exiting it out and go back in, they actually get a spot in. So this actually works because again, someone went potty. They went, they left their auditorium seat, they went potty, and someone walked in and said, is there any seats? Oh, right here. So if you leave and go back in, then you make it that person's seat and they snooze, they lose. They had to go potty. You know, don't, just don't go potty. You got to stay in your seat. But most people, again, they're judging by three seconds if they want to stay with that person or not. And um, there's a lot of people leaving. So a lot of people jump in and jump out. So that is the first hack. I've got the wrong notes in front. I got my song list here. That's probably not the one. <laughs> Here's the second one. So the second hack is again still being able to comment. And the, uh, your way to comment is by using Twitter in conjunction. So many people who are running broadcasts, most of the time they will have their computer screen somewhere in the vicinity. So for me, I actually use two computer screens. I've got my Big Mac Daddy one here, and then I've got my laptop one over here. So because my laptop one is up on a little pedestal and it's um, back a little bit further, I'd have to squint to go see it. Um, I actually put my tweet deck feed over there. So for those of you who use Twitter, obviously we would want to definitely start using Twitter, especially since Periscope is um, acquired by Twitter now. You might want to have a third party resource. I know there's ones like Hootsuite is another one, as well as I use tweet deck. And tweet deck allows you to make sense out of using Twitter. Because if you're just going to twitter.com, that's silly. You're missing a whole big picture. So for instance, those third party companies like Hootsuite and uh, TweetDeck, they allow you to manage it and have an organization to it. So you can create all these little co uh, columns and like one column is the active feed. The second column is when people are talking at you, like they use your name. The third one might be direct messages to you. And then you can create all these other columns of Say, for instance, you want to put a search term, everybody who ever talks about meatball sandwiches. So you can put a hashtag meatball sandwiches and that column will pull up any tweet that ever talks about meatball sandwiches. 
or people. Say, for instance, you want to follow someone specific and never miss anything they say. You can create a column for that. You can create your own columns that will allow you to put people you want to continue to follow in. So for instance, if you are building your business and you start communicating with people and you think that they might be a good customer later down the road, or they may be a good person to work with me in my business, you can put them in its own list that every time they post, it goes in there too. So you could have as many people as you want in that one column. It's not their column, one person's column. You could have multiple people. So that's that's the thing of TweetDeck. That, well, I wasn't planning to talk about that. But anyway, so what I will do is I can keep TweetDeck up on my secondary monitor. And if you are locked out of commenting, a lot of broadcasters are telling their peeps, if you are locked out, and you can't comment and you really want to, I'm going to keep my Twitter up. And if you just talk to me, I can then answer your questions over on Twitter land too. So here's how you'll do it so that you don't have to exit the broadcast. So, I mean, obviously you could try to exit the broadcast and go back in again, in again, in again to try to get a seat from the auditorium. You could try and do that because someone has to go potty sometime, right? Then the other way around it, if the broadcaster is going to be watching their Twitter feed, then what you want to do is swipe up if you're an Android user and you're going to see the share button. And then when you click on that, it will say Twitter. That's where you then erase all the automatic stuff that's there, but put the person's name so at Christine Dwyer, of course, that would be my name. Um, put my name at Christine Dwyer and then type your question. So you don't leave the broadcast and you're able to type your question to the person if they are watching their feed and then they will be able to go over there. So, I mean, we could try this out. We are not locked out, but just in case um, any of you guys have that. So, oh, here it is. Oh, I got mine right up here now. So um, that's basically it. And uh, for instance, like Amanda Bovey, she already favorited that uh, this Hacks on Periscope. So thanks, Amanda. I appreciate that. And Sam. Hi, Sam from New York. He's watching live Hacks on Periscope. Love my Sam, my super Sam. So that's the second hack and how you can be able to communicate with some of the people that you are locked out of and, and you really want to have a seat. So I'm saving the third one and I'm going to write that one down and... Um, Third one is going to turn to be the fifth one because that one's the best one and I will tell you. All right, so the one that you guys told me is how do you find people to follow? So I don't know if I could call this a hack, but this is kind of the way that I've been able to work or work around it. So obviously what I've been doing is thinking, who do I want to follow? Like I'm thinking, who do I want to make sure I don't miss? And I'm just searching people that I love, like in entertainment or uh, that I follow for business or that I know is diving deep into this Periscope world and I should stalk their stuff because I know that they're aggressively learning it too. So of course, I can think about who I want to follow and also, you know, typical people that I really want to make sure I pay attention to, of course. But here's another thing go in their feeds of who they follow. So that may or may not be a hack for you, but what you could do, so say for instance, say you follow Darren Hardy. So Darren Hardy is the publisher for Success Magazine. So I love Darren Hardy, I, I love his story, I've got his books in my back here, I enrolled in his entrepreneur mastermind group, I, I'm in his course even though I haven't done it yet. I've done his live entrepreneur roller coaster live event. Um, fantastic training. I love I love his stories and all. So if I go to Darren's page and then I click on who he's following, I'm going to see who Darren likes to follow, who's I feel a like-minded guy. I'm like him. I'm a doer. If I'm deciding I'm going to do something, I will do it and I will do the best version of it that I can for me. And so I'll go in Darren's and I will see who out of his uh, makes sense for me to follow. So if you're not sure who the people are, of course, just click on the person's name, view their profile and see what their bio says and decide, oh, well, maybe I'll add this person as well. So those are some things to consider when, um, oh yeah, you guys talking about uh, Darren Hardy? I'll tell you a great book and I've got my scrub pajama pants on. It's pajama time, guys. Pajama time. These are my two favorite books. This one's, of course, the very first book that 
I've read of Darren Hardy. This is the best one, especially for those people who just have a very hard time with consistency and believing that things do work out, work with consistency. This is one of the best books. And then honestly, to develop leadership and um, really build a different sales mind mindset for people who are entrepreneurs. This one is honestly fantastic. The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster. Seriously, so, so, so good. It really changes your mindset, especially if you are a person that just hates sales or you're doing it all the wrong way. All right, so I've given you three hacks so far. So the first hack, just to recap for those of you who are jumping on, thanks so much for jumping on. My name's Christine, and I help people build health and fitness businesses, predominantly in network marketing. So that's where I've made my millions, is in network marketing. I did not make my millions teaching group fitness. I still teach group fitness, but I don't make my millions there. I don't even know if I get paid. I think if you teach group fitness and you're teaching group fitness for the money, then that's never gonna be the case. You should teach group fitness or personal training because you love it and you don't even know if you're getting paid. But your millions should be made somewhere else. And I can help you with that. If you want me to help you with that, I can help you with that. But the other side of uh, where I didn't make my millions is I did not make my millions being a conference fitness presenter. I used to present at the fitness conferences. I did not make my millions working for a fitness celebrity who owned her own company and I was one of her right hand girls in the whole company. I did not make my millions there. Made my millions as an entrepreneur in network marketing. So that's something to consider. So I've given you three hacks. The first one is how to get in and out of a room, right? Yes, how to get in and out to be able to comment, to help uh, people for commenting. If you don't have a spot and you wanna get in and get out, that's the first hack. And then the second one, was to tweet someone to be able to comment to the person that if they're following their Twitter hack, Twitters, then you'll be able to uh, tweet them a question and they can answer that. The third hack I'm gonna say is how to find people to follow and that's by going to the people that you know to follow and then follow their um, followers that match you or who you like. But what do I have my phone setting on? Are you recording with your phone? You're clear. Yeah, I am. I um, am using my iPhone 6 Plus and I just have it facing directly to me. I don't have a microphone hooked up, but um, my room is pretty big ceilings and stuff. And I think that's why it echoes a little bit. Those are the first three hacks. Let's go to the fourth hack. How do you rewind or fast forward? Okay, so it's not an option in Periscope right now. And again, I know that that's a heavy request and I believe that they are working on it. So what is a workaround with it? For the people that are using the third party tool, catch.me, so K-A-T-C-H dot M-E, and their broadcast, go there. Then you can go to that and you can pause, replay, fast forward, download, all of that on catch.me. So obviously not every scoper is using um, using uh, catch.me, but that is an option if they are to be able to fast forward and rewind broadcast. So those are the four hacks. Fifth one, let's go into the fifth one. Before I do, let me take some questions from you guys. So if you have any questions, room is not full, so put your questions in the comments and I can help you to be able to get your answers, and then I'll dive into the fifth and final media's juiciest one for the hack for Periscopers. So if you got any questions, feel free to go ahead. And I am on uh, Twitter, so thanks, Real Dads Do Push-Ups. I'm glad that she he loves the the scopes. Scopes is the cool term. That's cool. Hack test. Were you testing me? Were you testing me, Real Dads? I see you. Okay. Can you repeat the four quick? Perfect. I'll just get right on and say it. So the first hack is how do you comment when the room is full? You exit and go back in. Exit and go back in the scope. Exit, go back in. Because basically, you may be able to get someone's seat that just left. So basically, they just went to go to the bathroom and you quickly grabbed it. So sometimes you may need to do that a, a bunch of times, but definitely... Um, you, you can possibly get it. The second hack is if the person is using Twitter in conjunction, if their room is full, you can then share within the Periscope, share, so swipe up if you're Android and swipe left to right if you're an iPhone user and click on share 
and just tweet the person. So we erase all the links and everything there, but just keep the person's handle. So mine would be at Christine Dwyer and then write your question. And if they're using Twitter alongside with, then you will be able to answer that question. So for instance, like I was talking with these people here that are tweeting me as well, I've been able to talk about them. The third is to, oh, who to follow. I'm doing off the top of my mind since I moved that one away down to the fifth position. Who do you know how to follow people? I always suggest is follow the people that you know 100% you like to follow. But if you're trying to find new people to follow right now to learn, then I would suggest going in the people that you're following, click on who they follow and look at their list and decide who it is that you want. Right now, there's no search term for uh, people outside of like, you know, phrases or topics. You basically just have to research and figure out exactly who it is. Uh, I, I don't really have an idea right now in terms of if you're searching for new contacts or leads or prospects or anything like that. I honestly don't know. I can't say this for sure because I just think that that will come from you being amazing and sharing information or sharing your life and people will want to come to you because at the end of your broadcast, you tell them a call to action. So that's maybe a bonus tip, not a hack. It's a bonus tip is try to end your scopes with a call to action because then the people who are following or watching the replay then can find you easier as well. But a lot of times people in their bios, if you click on your bio, you can edit that, are putting their contact information. Like I know for myself, I have my email there. You can email me if you want to find out more about what I do and if you want to work with me um, with the network marketing business. Obviously, if you're already signed up in that network marketing business, which is Beachbody, I cannot mentor you, of course, because you're already signed up. But if you want me to mentor you as a new coach, then of course I could do that. But also you can find a link. For instance, you go to livefitoutloud.com and you can find out more about what I do and if this is something you might want to consider doing. The fourth hack was in regards to fast forwarding and rewinding. And currently right now I know there's another site too that does it, but I use catch.me, K A. K-A-T-C-H dot me. And then you put the person's handle. So for instance, you would go to K-A-T-C-H dot M-E slash Christine Dwyer. And you can see mine. You won't see them all because I'm going to tell you what happened with the fifth hack. And I'm bummed about it, but I found the hack that's going to be able to help that. So that's what you would do to be able to go through and rewind and fast forward. So hopefully that will be able to help you. TweetDeck is a third party resource software that allows people to effectively use Twitter more than what Twitter.com helps you with. Because looking at Twitter.com is just silly. TweetDeck allows you to organize and manage and be able to focus on it. The, my podcast again, thanks so much for asking for that, is The Platinum Edge. The Platinum Edge. I have my own conference that I run, me and my husband, we run it here in in uh, November in Dallas, Texas. And it's called The Platinum Edge. And The Platinum Edge is for my organization. And, and we train them, we bring in the top people. So for instance, the people that I have brought in, last year I brought in, of course, Shalene Johnson, who is a great friend of mine and she supports me, of course. Uh, so Shalene comes in every year and she teaches workouts and she teaches lectures on stage. I brought in Bo Eason. For those of you who follow Bo Eason, he's an amazing, he used to be an NFL, um, NFL player, he used to play for the Houston Oilers, and then he got injured and just had to stop and then became an actor. He wrote his own play and it was um, the number one. And he's now a professional speaker. He's just ridiculously amazing. So I had Bo there and I also had um, Natalie Jill Fitness. For those of you who follow Natalie Jill Fitness, she came and she was teaching about Pinterest. She has a program called Pinfinity. So that's why I brought in last year. And the year before, I had Shaleen. I had Brett Hobel. For those of you who follow Brett Hobel. And then I also brought in Mari Smith. Mari Smith, the Facebook queen. She came in. Uh, it's just amazing. Definitely. Um, I love this conference because I just really feel that we just teach and everybody absorbs it. So you guys want the final hack? If you want the final half, you better give some taps up on there because then I'll know that you're done with your questions. But if you're like, just tell me the final hack, I'll just figure it out. So we're about the same. So I guess you guys are still wanting to ask questions because we're not getting a ton. Let's see. I'm hoping that you can come in. Do you have anyone in your organization in Toronto? Oh, I totally do. I have 
tons of people um, personally sponsored everywhere throughout Canada, throughout the U.S. Um, I used to live close, of course, to Toronto. I used to live in Buffalo, New York, and I lived, lived in Rochester, New York. But that's the greatest part about being an entrepreneur, especially in network marketing. You're not limited to where you live. You're limited to how much you want to get out there on the computer or on your phone. So, yeah, I've got my team everywhere. I've got a lot of people right in Toronto, right in B.C., all over the place. Guys are good with the heart, so I'm thinking that you might want to go ahead and get that fifth one. All right. So you guys ready for it? The final one, which has been my biggest pain in the butt, and I've honestly been searching, and I even texted Shalene, and she did not answer me this, and I know it's because she just wants me to keep searching <laughs> to find out for myself. You know those people that say, um, open up the fridge, where's the milk? And it's like right in front of you. Like it's right there in front of you. So I don't know if that's the reason or if she's just too busy. I mean, I don't know what she's got going on. I mean, she should be just responding to my text. Anyway, but the fifth final one was a big problem for me and I didn't know what to do. So I ran a scope the other day teaching everybody about the equipment that I use to film videos as well as to do scopes, what lighting equipment to use, what microphones to use, what tripods to use, and how I do it. And I thought it was a fantastic scope. I mean, I had wet hair and everything. It was all first thing in the morning. Well, I accidentally didn't know I did this, but I turned off the auto tweet button before I hit the broadcast. Why is that important? There's two important reasons why you want to make sure these two things are on when you scope. And I was in trouble. The first is my camera roll was full. So I had this scope, but it wasn't saving to my camera roll, even though the setting was set because my phone is always full. So didn't get that download. And then the second is when I was about to start the broadcast, I somehow did not hit that little bird button and the auto tweet of the broadcast didn't go out. And so the company, catch.me, so K-A-T-C-H dot me, will save your downloads if you have that little button on where it auto tweets, it automatically puts their hashtag and it saves it to the site. So for instance, if you go to my K-A-T-C-H dot me slash Christine Dwyer site, you're going to see, I think, five broadcasts or six. And then I'm like, why are the other ones not coming up? And every day would pass. And then two days would pass after one. And I was like, where are they? They're not being saved. Where are they? And I thought it was because it was a long one that it was just taking a long time to get up there. And then three days passed and I just said, let me email them. So I first researched their site to see if I have to pay some service. Like maybe you just get five for free and then you got to start paying. I didn't know, but I was researching their site and I didn't see any option yet to pay them because I will pay them. This is an easy thing. But the thing is, is that um, I went to my site and I researched all the settings and I'm looking at the settings on catch.me and I'm like, it's set to automatically, the little button says, you got this checked, you're good to go. I was like, why not? Where are these? I researched as much as I could and then in the end, I sent a message to their support asking them and they came back and they said, well, you didn't tweet it out. I'm like, and I sent them a screenshot. No, it says here that it's automatically set to save if I have this checked. And then they sent me a screenshot and said, no, this bird button needs to be on if you want it to go and we'll catch it. Duh, I didn't know I turned it off. So now I'm like, crap. I've got these broadcasts, the, especially the equipment one. I think that's a great one because I get asked that a lot and I want to put that up on my other social platforms. How am I going to get these? I'm sitting there going, should I like jerry rig it and like hold a camera up and videotape the screen? I just didn't know what to do. So I was searching and searching and searching. I texted Shaleen. She didn't want to answer me. She didn't have time for that. And I was like, what am I going to do? Found a solution. So here's the solution. It may or may not help you. I'm just going to let you know though. This is how I did it. And I tried doing it tonight during dinner and then it worked, but I'll tell you why I can't use it. So. There's a lot of little things to think about. It is doing a screen record of your phone by using your computer. Okay, so I made a video. Is it up yet? Like I put it, I'm putting it up on YouTube, guys, so you can go to my YouTube channel. It says it has 40 minutes left to upload. So I don't know what YouTube's doing tonight, but apparently they're busy. YouTube is busy. 
So I have it going up on my YouTube channel. I did a screen flow because I did it um, ghetto, gangster, white trashy style. I put my camera up like this to videotape the screen of my computer because I'm using my phone. And, I'm, and I was using the program that I normally screen capture. So that's the thing. So I did that. You'll see that. But if you want to go to youtube.com slash my name, Christine Dwyer, it's a three minute video. I do a screen flow of exactly how to do it. So how can you download or get the videos and the comments? Because that's the other thing. So all your comments, I really don't see them all unless I rewatch the broadcast again. And then did you know, like, for instance, if the phone rings in the middle of you watching a replay and then the phone stops, all of a sudden the, the comments from the whole feed come up at once, even if you're still watching like part of the feed. It's like, oh, I can't see all these comments. So if catch.me wasn't catching it and I can't see their comments over there, I can't see all the comments here because I click on the your names and they all don't come on up. The only way to be able to get that and get all the content over was doing this trick and hack. So here it is. So this is as much as I know. Again, I'm not a brainiac. I'm just sharing with you what I figured out because I was really stressing about this. What you need and what I used, just sharing what I used, is I used, of course, my iPhone 6. So I have an iPhone 6. So iPhone, whatever one you have. And then I use my Mac. I tried using my Mac right here and it didn't work. And I texted my husband and I said, can you try it? Because I don't know if you watched my scope earlier this morning, but I said that every time I try something technical, I break it. And then my husband tries and it's perfect, like always the case. Well, I texted him and I said, can you try it? Didn't work for him. Then, thankfully, he's an IT geek. He figured it out and said, you need to be using Yosemite. And I was like, crap, I can't download Yosemite on this laptop because it's full. My laptop's always full. That's why I've got my brand new laptop upstairs, which he's loading all my stuff on still for weeks. So I have a brand new Mac upstairs and he tested it up there and it worked because we have Yosemite on that laptop. So what I ended up doing, this is what you'll do and you can watch the video because I did a uh, old school camera. You'll see me post workout. Like I just got done working out and I was like, I gotta make this video. And I was like, oh crap, I'm on video. Oh well, it is what it is. I don't care really at this point, this is life. So. This is what you do. You plug your phone into your Mac. And again, I don't know how it's going to work for any other product out there. You plug it into your Mac and then make sure you have your mute button on, off. So the volume is up, okay? So don't have mute on. Make sure it's off. And then the other thing that you want to do is try to turn off notifications, okay? I'm going to tell you what happened during dinner. So the next is go to QuickTime Player. So open up QuickTime Player, and then up at the top, select New Movie Recording. So now that's going to pull up, and the webcam of your computer is going to be on you. And that's why you see me gross after working out. So that first comes up, but the menu right next to the Record button has a pull-down menu. Click on the pull-down menu, and you should see your phone as an option to select. Select the phone for the webcam, but then also select it again and choose the microphone from your phone as well. So in that little pull down menu, and again, I got a video of it, just go to my youtube.com slash Christine Dwyer, and in 37 minutes, it'll be up. That's all you're gonna do, and now you're gonna be looking at, on your computer screen, your phone. And now what you do with your phone, so pretending my phone's in its case, you start using your phone, that's it. And it's doing it on the screen, so now, Open up your Periscope app. It's showing up on the screen. Go to your broadcast and then select the one that you want to download or record again because you're basically going to record the screen and all the audio again. Then you hit record on your QuickTime and then hit play on your Periscope broadcast and it's going to record. And then when it's done, stop the recording on your QuickTime and then save that and there's your download to your computer. And now I'm like, thank you. You want to know what the problem is? Darn notifications. Lewis Howes is live on Periscope. Amy Porterfoot is live on Periscope. Mindy Lawhorn's live on Periscope. I'm like, I went up and I looked at my video. I was like, I have to do this like at one in the morning when no one's Periscoping because everyone's obsessively Periscoping. So how am I not going to have these notifications on this recording? 
So I got to try it again late night. Hopefully these people go to bed sometime. I don't know. But that's the hack to get the download. That's all I know. Hopefully that helps you guys. Confusing? No big deal, Jane, because I have a video of it. Go to youtube.com slash Christine Dwyer. In 35 minutes, it'll be there. I did a whole video about it. Old school camera video. Any questions as we wrap this hacker up? Are you guys loving Periscope? I am. I am. I'm, I'm like a little like thinking I should be getting ready more often though. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. Um, but you can't put your phone in airplane mode before scoping because you need to be um, connected to the internet or Wi-Fi, all right? Wait, all right, so if you put it, well, no, because then the notification for Periscope. So for the people who are going on live for Periscope, those notifications come up, and if you don't dismiss them, they're gonna be on your video as well. You guys do love it. I don't know Android world, sorry, I cannot help you on that one because I don't even wanna put stuff in my brain that I don't even use. So um, that I don't know too much. Love it, but it is too much. Yeah, it is a pain, so how do you get around it? Make sure that little bird is clicked before you hit start broadcast and also have an account with catch.me and they should all go. So when you're talking to people and I don't see the question on the screen, you're reading from Twitter. Um, I can. I mean, no, it's not, it's not that I'm reading from Twitter. I'm just talking about if the room is full, 150 users can comment and you can't comment because you're locked out. A workaround that many people will tell is to tweet them and then they can pull it up and then answer that question. Trying to find my platform to talk, definitely um, go listen to my podcast. I talked about that today. I launched uh, my podcast for Periscope today, and that is The Platinum Edge, and that is my per my podcast. There's a lot of P's, podcast and Periscope and Platinum Presenters and woo, Platinum Edge. That's a lot of P's. I think that's just the cool thing. Good, everybody. Guys, I have any, any other questions about any any hacks that you know that I don't know? I'm on catch.me and download to my computer. Yeah, so you can download for, to your computer. And then I've uploaded them to the other so, social platform that is super popular but doesn't like this one. <laughs> so upload direct to that one um, these videos as well because you might as well get that out there as well on that platform too. I don't know what Duffy means. What's Duffy? I don't know. Maybe it's just my accent. I'm not sure. So, oh, that's a great question. So uh, Delani asks, she's new and she only sees two broadcasts for me and it only saves your broadcast for 24 hours for the public. So that's why if you want to watch someone else's content that lives longer, go to their catch.me slash their name. So mine is K-A-T-C-H dot M-E slash Christine Dwyer. And my other ones are there except a few because I didn't know I was screwing things up. So how long do the scopes stay up? 24 hours. They stay up for 24 hours. But for me, I can go and get them because they're still in my account. So Periscope keeps them. So per Periscope still keeps them all. They keep them on their server. But for the public, they can only see the people's uh, broadcast for 24 hours. That's why if you're going to be building on Periscope, you do want to be consistent and at least do one a day. They don't need to be this long, and I honestly don't know how they could be short because every one I come on, I'm like, oh, this will be like a five-second Periscope, and then it's like 50 minutes. It always is. So hopefully this definitely helps you guys. Does it automatically load on K? A T C H dot me and you have to go sign up. So you have to go sign up with them first. And if you have the settings set to automatically go and before you broadcast, you have the tweet bird. So when you're entering in what your scope is about where and it says, what do you see? You're writing what your topic is going to be. Before you hit the big red bar that says start broadcast, right above it, there's four icons. One of them is a bird. Make sure that that twit Twitter thing is on because if it doesn't auto tweet, then catch does not catch it. Good. Any other questions? Gosh, you guys have been fantastic with giving me the love. I really appreciate it. 
I am going to be, of course, on tomorrow because, again, consistency is so smart with building a new platform. Can you get the old ones uploaded? I don't know. I'll have to go over to catch.me now that I recently just found out about um, how to actually download them. But um, hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks so much, Norman. I really appreciate it. If you guys go to my podcast, I really dive deeper into stats about Periscope, where their projection is going, as well as some tips on how you can find what your platform is going to be and what you can offer. So go to my podcast, which is The Platinum Edge, and uh, that will be able to help you be able to kind of get more into the Periscope world as well. Appreciate it. Check in tomorrow. And if you want to find out more about me and what I do, you can go to Live Fit outloud.com. I help entrepreneurs build a business and network marketing, aligning up with a major health and fitness company. And uh, anybody can do it. If you love health and fitness and you want to help other people do that too, then that's how I help people be able to do it. Oh, thanks so much, Reagan, for listening to the Platinum Edge podcast. Appreciate it. It's not a long one. It's around 30 minutes or so. I was really shocked about that. I must have been talking really fast. All right, guys. Thanks again. Talk to you tomorrow because I'm going to be on. All right. Bye-bye.